Did the Mayans truly predict the end of the world? A fascinating question that has intrigued minds for centuries. This ancient civilization, renowned for their mathematical precision and astronomical prowess, holds many enigmas yet to be unraveled. Stay tuned to find out. Dive into the intriguing world of the Mayans, a civilization that thrived in the jungles of Central America. This civilization, flourishing from as early as 2000 BC until the arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century, was renowned for its advanced understanding of astronomy and mathematics, among other disciplines. The Mayans were not just warriors or farmers, but also astronomers and mathematicians, their knowledge far surpassing that of many contemporary societies. They developed complex calendar systems and were able to predict celestial events with astonishing accuracy. Their mathematical prowess was such that they even had a concept of zero, a numerical idea that wouldn't take hold in Europe until centuries later. Their cities, temples and monuments stand testament to their architectural genius, and their intricate hieroglyphic writing continues to fascinate scholars even today. But these advancements were just the tip of the iceberg. Let's delve deeper. The Mayans had an intricate system of calendars, unlike anything we use today. The statement takes us on a journey to explain the ingenious calendar systems of the ancient Mayans. The Mayans used three different calendars, each serving a unique purpose. The first was the Tzolkin, or Divine Calendar. This was a 260-day calendar, consisting of 20-day signs and 13 numbers. But why 260 days, you might ask? The Mayans believed that this was the time it took for a human embryo to develop, tying their calendar to the very cycle of human life. The second calendar was the Harb, or civil calendar. Unlike the Tzolkin, the Harb was a 365-day calendar similar to our own Gregorian calendar. It was divided into 18 months of 20 days each, with an additional five-day period known as the Wayeb, which the Mayans considered to be an unlucky time. Now these two calendars would run concurrently, interweaving like the gears of a clock, and every 52 years they would align perfectly, marking what the Mayans called a calendar round. This was a time of great celebration as it symbolized the renewal of time and life, but the Mayans didn't stop there. They also devised the long count calendar, a linear count of days from a mythological starting point. This calendar was used to record historical events and prophecies, and it's here we find the source of the infamous 2012 prophecy. The long count calendar was based on a cycle of roughly 5,125 years, which ended on December 21st, 2012. Now, contrary to popular belief, the Mayans never predicted the end of the world on this date. Rather, they believed that at the end of each cycle, a new age would begin, much like our own concept of New Year's Day. So the Mayan calendars were not just tools for tracking time, but also a profound reflection of their cosmological beliefs and understanding of life's cyclical nature. But what about the infamous 2012 prophecy? Let's address the elephant in the room. The 2012 end of world prophecy caused quite a stir in recent times. The popular belief that the ancient Mayans predicted the world's demise in 2012 is a tantalizing tale that has gripped the modern imagination. But was it all just a colossal misunderstanding? Let's take a step back. The Mayan long count calendar unlike the Tzolkin or Harb, counted days in linear progression from a mythological starting point rather than in cyclical patterns. This calendar was designed to track extremely long periods of time, and one full cycle, known as a Great Cycle, equates to roughly 5,125 years. Now here's where the 2012 phenomenon comes in. On December 21st, 2012, the Mayan Long Count Calendar completed one such Great Cycle. Some interpreted this as an omen, a prophecy of the end times. However, this was a gross misinterpretation. You see, the Mayans never predicted an apocalypse. For them, the end of a great cycle was a time of renewal, not destruction. It was akin to our New Year's celebration, marking the start of another long count period. The idea of it being an end of world prophecy was born out of a mix of pop culture and a misunderstanding of Mayan culture and calendar systems. The Mayans were brilliant astronomers and mathematicians who developed a complex system of calendars to track time and celestial events. They didn't see time as linear like we do, but rather cyclical. Every ending was also a beginning. The completion of the Great Cycle in 2012 was not a prophecy of doom. 
but a transition from one cycle to the next. So the 2012 end of world prophecy was more a product of modern imagination, fueled by misinterpretations and sensationalism than any ancient Mayan prediction. It's a testament to the enduring fascination we have with this ancient civilization and their advanced understanding of time and the cosmos. Now that we've cleared up the misconceptions, let's look at the Mayans' astronomical prowess. The Mayans were keen observers of the sky. Their fascination with celestial bodies led to significant scientific discoveries that were, for their time, nothing short of revolutionary. They meticulously tracked the movements of the Sun, Moon and Venus, creating complex and accurate calendars that could predict solar and lunar eclipses with astonishing precision. Their astronomical prowess wasn't confined to the Earth's immediate celestial neighborhood either. They observed and recorded the motions of distant planets and stars, creating a detailed map of the cosmos as they understood it. Such was their dedication that they developed mathematical systems sophisticated enough to calculate the synodic period of Venus, a feat that still astounds scholars today. Their ability to predict celestial events was so accurate that they could plan their agricultural and religious calendars around these predictions. Their cosmology, though, was as rich and complex as their astronomical knowledge. Mayan cosmology is a fascinating blend of myths, gods and celestial bodies. The Mayans believed in a multi-layered universe composed of 13 heavens and 9 underworlds, each ruled by its own deity. Their creation myth, the Popol Vuh, tells a captivating tale. It's a story of two hero twins who overcame trials in the underworld, known as Zibalba, and ultimately ascended to become the sun and moon. This myth not only offers a glimpse into their spiritual beliefs, but also their astronomical knowledge. The Mayans were keen observers of the skies. They revered celestial bodies, seeing them as gods in their own right. Their pantheon was replete with deities for the sun, moon, planets, and even phenomena like eclipses. This reverence for the cosmos didn't stop at their myths and deities. It was deeply ingrained in their architecture and art. The alignment of their temples and cities was meticulously planned to coincide with celestial events. For instance, during the spring and autumn equinoxes, the sun cast shadows on the pyramid of Kukulkan in Chichen Itza, creating the illusion of a serpent slithering down its steps. This spectacle was seen as the descent of the feathered serpent god Kukulkan. In their art too, we see numerous depictions of gods, celestial bodies and mythological scenes, further testament to how intertwined their cosmology was with their daily lives. Recent discoveries continue to unravel the mysteries of this enigmatic civilization. But what do you think about the Mayans' knowledge and predictions? The Mayans were undoubtedly advanced for their time, their understanding of the cosmos, their intricate calendars and their enigmatic prophecies continue to intrigue us today. It's fascinating to ponder how they could achieve such astronomical precision and mathematical complexity. Were they simply gifted scholars? Or did they have some otherworldly aid, as some theories suggest? And let's not forget the 2012 phenomenon. Was it a gross misinterpretation of the Mayan long count calendar? Or was there a kernel of truth in this end of world prophecy? Could it be that we've merely postponed our reckoning or perhaps misunderstood the nature of it? These are tantalizing questions and we'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have a pet theory or a burning question about the Mayans? Or perhaps you've stumbled upon a recent discovery that has piqued your curiosity. Remember to like, subscribe and comment with your theories. Curious about other ancient civilizations? Next time we'll dive into the enigmatic world of ancient Egypt, deciphering hieroglyphs and exploring their extraordinary pyramids. Stay tuned to unravel more mysteries of the ancient world.